Wonky lines and a wrinkly face. This is the draw along this time as I draw a bloodhound and you're welcome to join in. The dog that is my reference is one I drew digitally, but instead I'd like to use a brush pen today. I use a black Copic multiliner. By using that I can play around with the pressure and get a lot of character into the line work. As usual, if you feel like drawing along, use whatever material you have. I will draw in freehand, but feel free to draw using a pencil first if you're more comfortable that way. Let's get drawing. So what I will start with is just placing the nose just around here or so. Then we start working on the actual snout, which is a straight line, and at some point it starts to curve upwards, and it flattens out, and going down. Have a bit of fluff here on the side. Then I'll mark in the eye with a curve here, and place the actual eye beneath it. The snout has this big fluffy curve, continues all the way up to the eye actually. The other side of the snout, then we have all this lovely droop hanging down and we will have more of that. Make sure the fluff kind of overlaps. Make a pupil for the eye here, and I make sure that the pupil kind of touches the lid eyelid so that it looks very lazy. This dog. Gotta draw the ear now. We move downwards to the leg with a few bumps on the way and some fluff. A bit more fluff beneath the chin here and a bit more. The leg consists of diagonals and straight lines actually. So try to be careful. We have some fluff here at the upper leg. Goes down. And then out, diagonal and down to the paw. And it doesn't matter that this paw became slightly wonky, a bit fat. It's perfectly all right. That's a good part of this wonky style here that if something becomes a bit different than what you've planned, it's okay. There we go with the other leg. And now I just have to kind of find the proportions a bit. So let's start out with the rib cage. Just have to see how long the dog is actually. Just about here is the hind leg. Just make a small mark for myself so I can see how long the dog is before I continue on the back of the dog. Starts around here, halfway between the nose and the fluff. And then it goes upwards to the hind legs.
curve here is almost aligned with the curve above. And then we have a curve here that resembles the rib cage of the dog. The character and the feel of the line work naturally occurs because, because I sometimes press a bit harder and sometimes I don't. It's just uh, it's almost it almost happens by coincidence, you could say. The hind leg is a curve. and then a steeper curve, and then a diagonal, moving into the hind leg paw here. I just make a mark for myself. It's a bit lower than the front leg. Down, paw, Have some more overlapping fluff here at the hind leg. And then we need the other leg that is kind of paddling, going down. Up and diagonal. And then you can follow it on the other side of the dog. There we go. So the things we need now is a couple of dark spots, such as the nose. We will color it in the ear and do it exactly the way you want to. I like to leave in on purpose some some white spots in between, so it's not, not perfect. This also adds some character to it. And then I like to do a bit of spots on the dog. Again here, do it exactly the way you want, you want to, because I would be happy if you do it the way that you want to do it. Maybe a spot down here. There. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to add in some texture, uh, which also gives it an overall nice um, feel to it. So add a couple of um, line stipplings here and there on the dog. And I basically just, when I do these stipplings, I just think about what direction is the contour line. And then I just make the stipplings mimic or echo that contour line, the direction of it. There we go. Thank you so much to Used for wishing this video. And as a bonus, I've uploaded four docs on an A4 piece of paper free to print on my buy me coffee profile including this bloodhound and um, then i just want to say have fun drawing peeps see you soon